Welcome back to Marcus at Work Media. Today, we're covering a little bit of the Young Thug information, but this time we're going to go take a look at the jail cell that Young Thug is being held at at Cobb County. So apparently, the lawyer put in some requests in order to review the conditions in the cell for Young Thug because they said the conditions for Young Thug was inhumane and did not feel comfortable with his client there. So you take a look for yourself and you tell me what your thoughts are. Cobb County Sheriff's Office invited us to see the rapper's jail cell. Channel 2's Michael Seiden stood just feet from Young Thug. This would be the um, typical cell for this area. It doesn't have the mattress that would be in there because it's not currently occupied by anyone. When attorneys for Atlanta rapper Young Thug filed a motion for an emergency hearing for bond describing the Cobb County jail conditions as inhumane and torturous, civil rights organizations like the Southern Christian Leadership Conference didn't waste any time getting a first-hand look inside the facility. The purpose of today was to let the community know that we're not doing anything that we don't want them to see. Um, we're running a above board jail um, and we want anybody and everybody to know that but this is a jail it is a detention center it's not the Fritz Carlton officials with the Cobb County Sheriff's Office granted us access inside under the condition that we refrain from shooting video of any of the inmates including young thug whose real name is Jeffrey Williams Williams has been in jail since he and 27 other defendants were charged in a sweeping gang indictment in Fulton County. So right now we are getting exclusive access inside the Cobb County Jail. We've been asked not to show rapper Young Thug, but we're only about three cells down from him. And we've come in here after his attorneys filed that emergency motion. That's because we want to see exactly what the conditions are like here in jail. Jail officials told us that Williams, who's considered a high profile inmate, is being kept in his own cell in isolation for his own safety. They also told us he's being fed and given the opportunity to exercise and meet with his attorneys. On Friday, Williams attorney Brian Steele told Channel 2 that his client is innocent and he's now fighting to get him a bond. Mr. Williams is held in a cement small area. There's a light on all the time. Reporting in Cobb County, Michael Seiden, WSB Tonight.